If you want something in your life you never had, you have to do something different you've never done. J.D. Hudson. Step out of the box. Jump out of that bowl for the mother. To my children, if I had to choose between loving you and breathing, I would use my last breath to tell you, I love you. That's a mother's love. But when you're born different, this love is not always available. Sometimes you're born to people who hate people like you and they don't want you in their life. So what they do, they throw you out. And this is a message to hey, you. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fight. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of the devil day of another day that we call Friday. Anybody been said what's going on people, hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being prosperity in this life of living. Um, you know, I did my hair back and stuff like that. Um, as you know, it takes me, it's a process. It's very much a process. I know I told you about this before. One thing about putting it in, and then you have to press the hair, you have to buy the spritz, and you have to press it, make it flat, and you know it is a process. <laughs> Trust me, it is. It is. It, it may come across the camera like, oh wow, wow, but it is a process. Anyway, I want to talk to you about something now. This is the thing I want to talk to you about. <sighs> we already know the devil has been busy and the universe has been going crazy and the spirits has been walking around the earth and I'm not going back in the ground and reference to someone who's on this page that sent me links for that as well. You know, this is my thing, you know, um, I always have to be careful what I say because I do not want to offend anybody. I do not want to hurt anybody and that's real, real. And I hate that about me that I care so much about other people. And clearly, a lot of people don't give a damn about me, and I kind of hate that God made me that way and stuff, you know, that I care about people, and even though people can mess me over, somewhere along the line, I still try to find a way of forgiveness with them and stuff, and I hate that, so when I have to fight myself to stand strong against someone who actually hates me, and I have to resist everything as far as me saying, it's okay, Raven, you can give in, it's okay, because sometimes it's not okay. Well, anyway, so yesterday I was in the house and stuff like that, and um, um, I've been doing a lot of praying and stuff like that, like I always do and stuff, and, you know, um, I was on the hormones, I talked about that as well, I said, just forgive me on where to go, so I stopped taking the hormones. <laughs> now, um, I, listen, okay, let me just say this, hormones work differently for everyone, um, everything is everybody, I... Of course, I got the work done. I, it wasn't about hormones. I went to the store and got to the pump dog and just pumps. You know, so. Anyway, so I really don't know if it's weird or not, but anyway, it's in the day. Okay, this is the thing. I saw I have a really bad cramps and stuff like that. I did the word and stuff like that. I was thinking, okay. And then I always have the second, third, because you know I'm a Gemini, so I'm always thinking and stuff. My brother was like, oh, you really just going to take hormones forever? I mean, everybody just wants you to be a man inside the bed, and they don't even want to see the woman, and, you know, as far as the universe, that you want to be as far as representing who you are, the goddess of, I guess, of bullshit, because that's the word I keep getting. Now, this is the thing. Clearly, I feel as though that there's a difference between me and straight men, and it's, listen, this is just my opinion. I'm not saying I'm not speaking of every girl, I'm speaking for myself. There is a difference between me and straight men and stuff like that because his simple thing of the mind that he used to do was see as women and basically he wants me to play that role as her and I can't do that because I am who I am and I'm not gonna be his little knockoff um fool as he cheats the what's up the bush. Anyway, I'm not even gonna go on for that. This is my thing. Ugh. I got a phone call yesterday from a woman who called herself my mother. Now I gagged a little bit. I was like, my mother? 
Never talked to my mother in years and stuff, so I really don't know what her voice sounds like. It's not funny, but I don't know what her voice sounds like. So, you know, I always feel as though, you know, you always knew that voice. Like, I always knew your mother's voice. No matter what you go through life, you hear that voice, like, oh, that's her. But this woman's on the bridge, she said, I'm your mother. I said, my who? <laughs> She's like, I'm your mother. I was like, oh, I think you got the wrong number. So she was like, oh, I'm sorry. And we hang up. Now, this is the thing with me. Now, someone said, but well, maybe you call her back to see if it was. Did you ask her her name? No, I did not. And the reason why I'm making this video is for all the people I hear who have gay children, trans children, that are different. And I'm not talking about killers and all this um, molestation stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the gay or the trans people. Hell, even the bi people, what the, what the hell. Um, but what if you identify yourself as far as non-conforming, non-conforming only because you can't believe how much people just fuck with you so much, you just, I'm not conforming to nothing. But anyway, I'm not going to that again. So I didn't call her back and I didn't ask her what her name was and stuff like that. They have confirmation of reference if she was allegedly my mother or not because I didn't care. Because I made peace of myself and the reason why I'm making this message is to all the people out there as far as parents who have thrown their children away. When you couldn't accept the child that God gave you and stuff and you throw it away, don't let them heal without the love from you in their heart. And if you have a mother that really loves you and stuff like that so you don't understand where we're coming from, please don't talk about when you only get one mother and stuff like that because you don't understand experiences and if you don't understand it, I'm not here to conform or make you understand where I'm coming from. You can stand in your trip, you go home to your mommy, you give a good little kiss and let her fix you some nice little biscuits and bacon. <laughs> Don't stop me. Anyway, so the thing is that gets me is you let your child heal without the love in their heart for you. That they don't care what they ever see you because they made peace with themselves and the seal has been closed without you. Now I'm going to speak for myself and I'm talking about every person who's in the LGBT. I can speak for myself and this is how I'm going to conduct it as far as being myself. My personal view. I feel like this. Clearly, you needed me to be a stillborn or you needed to me to be someone that died at the table as far as operation coming out of your womb. I came out different and you did not accept God's gift to you and you did not want to have them to do with it so you throw it away and that's fine. I can respect you. At first I couldn't, but I learned to respect you. I said, well, you know what? At first I used to say, well, maybe you had a bad past. And maybe, 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 you know, you know, you start trying to become your lawyer. Well, maybe they got this. Or maybe, maybe we... But after a certain period of time, you get to a certain age, you just say, okay, it's fine. So when you watch them move on and they get married and they do all these things and they grow and they need money to get new cars, and then they call you wish you happy birthday, like they just forgot about you. You you recognize those things. You see everything that they do. You watch how they pick up their car and they go pick up other people and they celebrate people's birthdays and they do everything as far as going out the way for these other people who are not their children. You see that. And at a certain period of time, you learn the saying called, Whatever don't kill you will make you stronger. So, that's what happened here. Um, it didn't kill me. It made me stronger. And then some people say, well, forgive them. You have to forgive people if I have forgiveness in your heart. No, you don't. My thing is this. I believe in forgive and forget. <laughs> I'm going to forgive you. <laughs> You're right. I'm going to forget you. Do you, boo? When my aunt, the one who basically denounced me, called me all kinds of fags and stuff like that, when she was talking about me, I'm like, I'm sitting right here. And I stood there and I defended her and they don't even know her history because I sit there and fought for her. And even got in this situation, I was about to fist fight and I knew she was wrong. Then I watched how she described me that other pronoun and it was fine. I can't give too much on that because her children are going to space too. <laughs> and uh, 
mother still keeps secrets. Anyway, so the thing is, I accepted her, went to her funeral, when I was there, my mother looked at me, uh, what should I say, the woman I call my mother, she looked at me and she walked past me. I'm going to tell you something, it is nothing so painful to have a mother that birthed you, and first of all, stop it to take the hormones, and walk right past you as if they don't even know you. It is the most painful thing, but it's the most... <sighs> Thing that will burn in your heart that you will never forget it and at that point you'll say it's fine I'm going to let you live your life I'm done you won you want to be out your life I'm going I don't care when you die I don't want to hear when you die you do your boo boo you take your insurance you pass it out to all the people that love you so much you let them get the money whatever the case may be I could live in the I could live on the streets and live in a garbage can. I could live so in the um, we we you throw your child away like it's garbage, like it's somebody else's child. You know, because I feel as though it needs to be really important before you do that and stuff. You know, because sometimes you want to look back and talk to the child and stuff. You know, this one you throw away is not the same child that when you threw out. Remember, the child's gone through holy hell. When you laid in the bed and stuff like that, and you felt the spell. You know, you're teaching your child a lesson, your child probably was catching hell, your child was being beaten on, your child was being raped, your child was being jumped, your child was being basically almost murdered, if not murdered at all. You know, so the thing about it is that you have to be very careful and think of everything that's going to come. We learn to live off the emotions and stuff, but a lot of times we do things off emotions of teaching people lessons. And we're not really ready for the consequences. Now myself, I'm good. The father being gone, I respect him more because he's gone. And it's not a big deal because he's standing his truth. He basically split and said to hell with me and her. And she basically felt like I was the bird. Well, and she said I destroyed her life. So, and for once I had to do something else. I had to start listening and stop, li stop lying for people when I didn't want to hear the truth. I had a bad habit that when if someone hurt me or someone did something to me that I didn't agree with, I said, oh, they don't mean it. They don't mean, oh, oh, she's just mad. Oh, they don't mean it. And found out, lo and behold, they actually did mean what they were saying. You know, it's really weird how you get down and you, it's like you get a chance to really see life for what it really, really is and then the lie that you told yourself for years has been revealed in front of your face and everything you told yourself as far as can't accept somebody because I mean you lying because you couldn't accept what they were saying so you lied to yourself saying they didn't mean it and the reality is that they've been telling you the truth all the time anyway so I just want to share this story with you as reference to the phone call that happened to me yesterday and reference to this woman who called my phone <laughs> since she was my mother my mother <laughs> who the hell is that you know so it was it was quite experiencing you know but I always thought about that I was like what happens when you know uh, my ex uh, was probably in here too the fucking snitch hi ex-wife um probably um go back and tell her this since they be some of my page the devil's a liar. Anyway, um, I just find life to be so amazing. I feel like I'm in sleep. I really do. I feel like I've, I feel like I've really been asleep. Like everybody's been saying all these really fucked up things to me and doing things to me, and I just been ignoring it for so long. And I feel like I've been asleep. Now I'm really starting to see people for their truth. And I'm starting to back away from people. I'm really starting to back away. I'm not the same I used to be. And I'm not the same to think they're going to be waiting, waiting for them when they come back to me. I've been used and I've been abused. I'm half dead, yet I'm still breathing. My eyes have tears that haven't fallen from my eyes yet. The pain of my heart seems to grow as the heart gets stronger. And the skin get tough. I have no choice. 
these are my cards. I dealt them. I mean, it's done dealt to me. Tell me the truth, but to do it. And for the record, I'm not knocking anybody. And for you people out here, I know I'm about to go to the left, but it is what it is. What the hell? For all you girls out here who detransition, I do not have an open listen. Girls or guys kiss me, detransition. Do you, boo, do you. Now, I'm only talking to the ones who are on this page because I know who you are because I really like you spook on me, I spook on you. I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to tell you this again. You're going to learn to stop listening to people. You're going to learn. I watch some of you girls go back to being boys and I really watch how you are. And if you're so happy, I can't tell. People get in your head try to destroy you. That's why people become stars. They got a support team around them. Because they know people are going to come and try to, to destroy them. Even me on this YouTube page. I'm like I'm like the bottom of the barrel. And I even have some of y'all even attack people for attacking me. This is what people do. They attack you. Now if you're the kind of person who lived their life as a boy. Like I said before. And you basically was like a passable boy. And all the girls gave you life. You was fabulous. And. He's like, oh, this could be a woman. I think I always wanted to do that because it was like something you wanted to be pretty. You needed to do transition because it, you was never trans. See, the girls like us were already being, was already being a certain way. People pointed out to us, but we didn't even think about it because we was only being ourselves. So we were judged about being ourselves and stuff. So to reject us was not even a big thing for us because they've been doing it since the womb. They've been rejecting us since the womb. God has been preparing us since the womb. So we get up to age and basically try to destroy us. Our skin is tough. Everything you said you could say to us to try to destroy us. We done heard it. And most of that come from people we actually did love that thought they loved us as well. But the thing about it is standing in your truth. Sometimes you have to stand in within yourself or with by yourself as long as you're living in your truth. There are a lot of people who can't do that. That's why the download lifestyle is so big. People sneaking around. Taking condoms off because they want to die. They don't give a damn about being here anymore. They, they, they're just sick of it. So don't get caught in a crossfire of someone who couldn't stand in their truth. Stand in your but I'm just saying, you know, I'm not saying you need to go back the way you was. I'm just saying. You're going to get a lot. You're going to learn a lot from listening to other people when it came to your life. You was doing fine the way you are. We let people get in your ear. I watched y'all been destroyed. I watched one that you tried to... She wanted to go back to be a, a guy. Now she's selling dick. The other one she tried to... I can't see it too because I know you in his face, but... I, I I I wish you just hit me up on Facebook. I would love to get a talk one on one with you. You know, baby, over on um, Facebook. I would like to just talk to you. I'm not trying to convince you. Stay the way you are. I'm not trying to convince you. Stay the way you are. I just would like to know what happened to you before you let people get in your head. Because people are going to talk about you. You don't even have to be trans. You could be straight and people are going to find a way to put you down. Anyway, the man said, I just wanted to share this with you as far as being trans, as far as being gay, as far as the parents that throw the kids away, that decide when they decide they want to come back to the child when they get ready, the child may not no longer want them back, and they don't care whether the parent lived or died, just as long as the parents stay the fuck away from them. Anyway, the man said, I'm going to give you feedback on this, I'm going to let you know I love you, and I want to thank you for watching, Guess the Rain. Don't cry for me. Don't cry for me when I'm gone When you left me here, mama Left me here all alone Don't cry for me